Welcome everybody to the Beechworth Bakery cooking session. Mrs. Mattisoni has kicked the kids out of uh, class again halfway through the week. She's had enough. She said, Dad, take him to do some home economics. So today we're going to make some bee stings out of our famous Beechworth Bakery cookbook. Get the book, Caleb. Show the book. So there it is. So last week we did uh, Dan Kelly Damper with, the, with these dudes and it was just fantastic. This is Caleb, this is Finlay if you, if you weren't watching. Um, we're going to make a dough, a bread dough, which is very similar to We're handling. making bee stings today. We are making bee stings, but the first stage of making the dough is very similar to a damper, but it's slightly different. This recipe is a little bit more complex than, uh, than last week's Dan Kelly Damper, but we've simplified it so it works. Um, for me, it's really different because normally I make things in size of 100 bee stings at once or even 400 when we have our famous 10 cent bee sting sale on. So this recipe is a little bit complicated because we're talking about teaspoons and grams, rather I'm talking about kilograms and I use big mixers and today I'm going to have a little mixer in play. But these guys are going to make the bread dough on the bench, you can see it hands on getting made. So bear with me with this because Really, when you're making this, you need about an hour. But I've prepared a few things to get this all done within a 10 or 15 More minute sort of hour. session. Probably did. We actually did it on the weekend just to have a bit of bit of Thank fun you. and see if it can work. And the recipe does work. Thank, thank. Anyway, let's okay. move that out of the way. Finlay. Like. You will need one quarters cup of plain flour. Yep. One teaspoon of salt. Yep. That's butter. It's already mixed in here, right? Uh, one teaspoon of improver, three teaspoons Get of pasta sugar, the power. two and a half teaspoons of yeast, which makes the bread rise. Yep, exactly, that's right. So, yeah, get in there and mix that up. You add it all together and then you mix it. So what I'm doing here with the recipe, I've made a triple size dough, bread dough, mainly so these guys can be making a bit of bread at the same time as through this whole, whole process. But uh, what we're making is four beasting. But uh, let me get in here, it's a bit slow for me. We've only got 15 minutes, guys, jeez. Can I, can I do, can I do Yeah, anything? just rub it together. No, don't do that again, oh my <laughs> God, jeez. It's so All right, no more. Right, so. One more time. One no. More time. One more time. Go, go. Right, okay, that's One enough. Okay, so, what time. we're gonna do is uh, run, run the butter through it. Finlay's lost all our ingredients, but we're gonna do this, right. <laughs> So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate this evenly into uh, three. One for the kids, one for me. And one for the loser. <laughs> Who's the loser? Yeah. Well, so I'm actually going to like cheat a little bit. Caleb, we don't like cheating. Right, so I'm, I'm going to do my little mix in a bowl there. Now have you guys got your well? No. Uh, yes. Yeah, get your well ready. Gotta make sure there's no cracks or the water will come out. And milk. So you wanna make sure you dry mix all your ingredients exactly like we just did there. So you make a big You've well. Done that. Just like we did a with damn the damn Kelly damper, whatever it's yeah. called. I wasn't ready. There you go, get I'm some ready. of that into it. You're ready? If the, so if this just shows you can make a bread dough on the bench exactly like this following the recipe. Or if you've got a little dough mixer, you can do it like this as well. Uh, uh, you push uh, uh, in the sides. Gently Let's hope this old break. banger works. I brought this in from home. That was from home? Yeah. I from so all I'm going to do is just mix this up a little bit. Yeah, that's it. You so just, as you do, just bring the edges in a little bit. That's what I've been doing. That's it. Keep going. I see there's a crack, which is very annoying. Ah, oh, don't want the crack. Keep going. Don't let the water get so out. So this one here, it's this dough water. is a sweet dough. So a little bit different than a normal bread dough because it's got sugar in it, so it gives it that beautiful uh, sweetness about it. Well, that's coming up beautiful. So this old mix is not that great, but it'll hopefully do what we need it to do. So by rights, eventually when these guys catch up to me, the one that cheated. Their, their bread dough is going to look a little bit more like this. So what you want to do is you want to try to knead this dough. It's not going to do anything. So basically all I'm doing is I'm pushing and pulling it back in like that. Now this, this session here, this takes about 10, 10 minutes of mixing. And if you're not really strong, it'll probably take you even a little bit longer. Uh, so this is a lot longer of a process compared to making up a uh, 
a, da a damper, which is a really quick, easy dough, dough to make. Yeah. Up like this. Yours is actually feeling a bit better than mine. Mine's a little bit dark. Mine? Hard. Yeah, mine bit. yeah mine yours is feeling socks really socks good. Again. I went down with socks. How's your arm feeling? Good. Oh, I fell off a bike yesterday. It's still going not down stick. this massive big Daddy, hill. Daddy, it's still not sticking together. <laughs> Oh, hang on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pinch some of yours because yours is really good. Hey, I'll give it back to you. Me. Now, Finlay, you look like you're eating the, eating the dough. So, nope. just uh, as you can see here, <laughs> Caleb's got flour mm -hmm. on his face. I've been mixing this now for about five minutes, and you can start seeing how it's getting a really nice, smooth <laughs> texture. As you know, we're not going to sell these products in the shop today, are we? <laughs> We're going to probably take them home and eat them ourselves, so uh, please don't take any offence of my kids. <laughs> so what we want the dough to be starting to look like is we're going to... We're just testing it, and you can still no, see it's still a little bit uh, still a bit rough. So what I'm looking for here is to try to get a little window, what they call the window of the bread dough. So you can see now that I'm starting to get a really nice nice smooth dough finish so it's getting pretty close to being ready so what i'm going to do from there to be able to keep things moving along i'm going to give the kids some dough we're going to cut up four nice even size dough balls like that is that four yes yep. it's four there you go you guys can what are you going to make oh he's got Whatever. There you go, like you that. So the recipe, the recipe says one large beasting, but what we're going to make, we're going to make mistake. four small beastings. Yeah. So that way everyone can have their own. Yeah, I can help you roll mine. Just let me do this. So what we're going to do is these need to rest now. We're going to let these sit over here for a second, and we're going to let them rest. Like that, I'm gonna get a little tea towel. I'm making a shake. Basically we need the, the dough to rest so we can, uh, it'll, it'll make it a lot lighter and easier to eat and a lot more easier to work with. Yes. Look, we're gonna get the honey. Uh, it says a table and a half of, this is not sponsored. of honey. So we'll get that in. Now we've gotta get that to, uh, to a boil. So we're gonna turn that on. That's gonna start boiling itself up. Uh, we're going to uh, just keep stirring that. Yep. I'm trying to make it look as much. Oh, that's looking pretty good. Right. So as that's now coming quickly to the boil, we're going to add in some sugar. For the boil. Dad, yeah. The eyes aren't sticking out. Oh, that's looking really good, Finlay. Have a look at Finlay's snake. Can you see that over here? Let's look at that snake. It's eating a. Sh <laughs> that's really good. I like that. Wow, that's coming. That's very quickly coming to the boil, so it doesn't need much. And then we're going to add some sugar into that, and we're going to stir that. Now this is a stage where you want to see that uh, sugar and the honey. Uh, what's the word for the for the sugar? Um, dissolve. That's the word that we're looking for. But you don't want it to turn into caramel. Dad, well, we need some butter, Caleb. Butter. We need some butter over here. I'm, I'm not well, making what you think I'm making. That, Dad. Hey? I'm not Let's get the butter yeah. in there as well. Yeah. That. That's better. Work. Oh, it stinks! Oh! <coughs> oh my god! <laughs> yep, we're getting there. Okay, so we're slowly, slowly, very slowly. Without too much heat from underneath. Trust me, everyone. So you can Life see. Mate. See now we're getting that fully disintegrating. Sure Not disintegrating, burn. dissolving. Make sure it doesn't burn. So you want okay. to keep stirring it. So now that we've got that done, we're going to add the almonds to it. Yes. So where's the almond gone to here? It says uh, one and a half tablespoons. Let's get some <laughs> almonds into it. Add how much you want, it doesn't matter. Yep. So we're going to get that in there. So that's the mixture that's going to go on top of these. these our beasting day, as you can see, it's beautiful. Honey, sugar, almonds. Finlay, yes. don't you love that? Nope. <laughs> can I have some more so, of the honey? Part of this, what we've got to do, mm. is we've got to spread this into four even pieces. So we're going to one, 
and it's not going to be very even to what I'm going to do is do three because Finlay she doesn't really like the almonds on top well I don't and uh, well you can share Finlay's we'll do no. so we'll do that so we'll just do we're going to do Whoa. three with almonds on top and one without yeah, this isn't sticky. Yeah, my so, eyes aren't sticking. We're going to spread that out to about the size of our beasting dough that we want. It's going to be like Will about, about that. Now, what you're going to want to do from about this point is this is still really hot. So, you're probably going to want to cool this down in the fridge for uh, maybe half an hour, uh, 20 minutes until our dough is ready. Uh, of course, you're going to use uh, a small tray that's going to go into your fridge. So, we're going to put that one to the side. I'm actually liking so, that. So, here we have our bee stings that we had and we've just rested them. So what we're going to do from here is we're just going to push them out. Here, flatten that for me, will you? Flatten that one out. This is your bee sting. So flatten it out to the size that you want. So something like about that looks like a good size, doesn't it guys? So what we're going to do now, sorry guys, I'm squeezing in here. We're going to put these on this tray. Are you sure my Where's the fourth one there? So that's the size that we want. Now what we're going to do is prove these. What I mean by proving it is how to make a prove is in a, in a sink, in your, in your sink at uh, home, fill it up with some hot water, uh, put the tray over top of the sink and put a towel, a tea towel. Lay the tea towel over top of your bread dough like that and you'll probably let it sit there for half an hour. So that's going to create some, a nice moist, uh, nice heat underneath the uh, bread dough to help the yeast move. This is half an hour later, well, voila, we've got our bee stings. Exactly that? like the, what we proved up before. So these have been in our prover. We've got a really big prover. Um, and again, it's just uh, temperature and moisture, and it makes the yeast move exactly like that. Now, what we've got here Are you is... Are Yes, we will. We'll cook that. Now, start peeling that off. Peel that off. You can have this one here. Satisfying. Can you start peeling that off for me? Oh, so... Voila, this is what we made earlier. This is our almond mix. So I've had this in the fridge. Where do I put it? We're going to sit that over top of one of these doughs. So oh. pick the one that you want. I want that one. Yep. I want this one over here. So we're going to sit that nicely over the top Don't like that. Uh, here we go. So yeah. now, what we're going to do now that these are proved, these are cool, gone on, we're going to stick this into the oven. So I've got a big rack oven over here that we're going to uh, stick it in. Right, that oven's running at about 200 degrees. It should take us about 10 minutes. Can you watch the timer, guys, and tell me when 10 minutes is up? Okay, so now we're going to start making the custard. Yes. So, okay. over here I've weighed it up previously. We've got corn flour, custard, sugar, and custard powder, Finlay. You got hold of that one for me? Oh my custard. Smell good? You love custard. So, what we're going to do is tip it in there, Finlay. Get in here. Don't make a mess, just tip it in there. <laughs> Jeez, okay. right, you hang on to this. Okay, you got it? Stinks! Ooh. Grab hold of that. Now, we need some milk. So, how much milk do we need? We need uh, half a cup of milk. So let's Still hope Mum wrote this recipe out, right? Oh, look at the colour of it, Finlay. Yum, look at the custard. Isn't that beautiful? Yellow. Oh. That's the custard. Now, so, that's the, what, what milk the, the recipe water. also oh. does say vanilla essence, if you like. Uh, I haven't got any today, so I haven't put any in. So we're going to give that a really good whisk up mm -hmm. like this. Yep, there you go. So you've got to whisk that till it's really nice and smooth. You're a natural with that. You're unbelievable. I don't know how to do this. The next ingredient that we need is thickened cream. Well, look, my wife's oh, even I measured it for me. One and a half cups of uh, thickened cream. If I can get it right, because apparently I'm not very good at following instructions. So I've got the instructions in front of me so I get these right. So anyway, is there any lumps in that? Sorry. Yes. Yep. No, there's not. I've got the lumps in it. The lumps out of it. So we'll, oh, so we'll give that a good whisk up. The recipe in the book is slightly different, but this recipe we're going to have up on uh, have up online. Uh, so we're going to put the thickened cream in. Cream. That looks pretty good. Uh, we're going to whisk that in. Do you want to have a go at whisking? Uh, I will. I'm making mine. There you go. You have a go at whisking, and I'll get the the temperature ready. Let's uh, clean that, like that mess up that I've made. Yes. So you can see that, jeez, oh, I'm making a mess today. Have a look at that consistency. Right, we're going to get it on here. This is an induction stove, and it's, here we go, now it's working. Electric cooktop. 
Yeah. Let me come in that way a bit further. There yeah. you go. Okay, Thank so we're going to get this going. You don't want it on uh, too hot of a heat. And basically, you're just going to keep stirring that until it's really nice and thick. It's not very complicated. It just takes time. Now, this probably, this whole process here will take about 10 minutes to do. I'm going to make it a little bit quicker today just so you can get the basic idea of what we're trying to do. As you can see, oh, the kids get uh, very... Oh, hang on, I've got this one. Oh, can I do it? No. Oh, I'm oh, lazy. There's another egg. You go and get the other egg and see if you can crack it in there. We actually don't even need the eggs. I only want the uh, egg yolk that's in this one. Oh, come it's... on. Oh, oh, just do it. Show us your cracking skills, will you? I don't have cracking skills. All right, so we're going to do this. Now, it's getting thicker now, all right, and it's starting to boil. So I'm just going to take that off because we don't want the base of it to burn. From here, we're going to add tablespoon of butter. Now, right that through there and now we also need Um I didn't get just the egg yolk. Is that fine or okay? We're just gonna get the uh Dad you're spilling it all There we go, we're gonna stick that in there as well. Come on Dad. Fold that through. Um, we're gonna keep whisking that. Now what we're gonna do now oh that's thickening up. Oh geez that's beautiful. Oh, you oh have a look at that. Is that as good as what mum was making no, at home? No, it's, it's hot. It's hot. All right, so now what we're going to do now is we've got to let, no. let that rest now because that's, that's really hot and really thick. So it we're going to put so that to the true. side. And voila, no, look, here's the custard I made this morning using that exact same recipe. So we're going to use that. Shush, stop beeping. So there's our custard that we're going to use. Now, it's a little bit. Okay, so which which beasting do you want, Kayla? Oh, that's this one. So, as you saw, your beastings that went into the oven, I've already pulled them out and I've cooled them. So, what we're going to do is we're going to cut the top off it like this, so you can see that's what it's going to look like. I cut my top too. So, as you can see, the kids don't like the almond ones. They love everything else that's in it except the almonds. So, oh, we didn't right. put the almonds on. Let's move that out of the way. That out of the way. And if you think, on our busy days, we're making hundreds of these. And of course we wear gloves, and we don't touch our face, and of course we uh, wash our hands all the time, don't we? We do all the appropriate things, all the appropriate things that we're not doing here today. Do you guys want to spread the apricot yes. jam on? Can I, yes. no, can, can right. I, can I do the piping bag? Yes, you can do the piping bag. I dibs this one. Yeah. So what you want to do Dad, your is, can I yep, go for it. <laughs> okay. Put it on there. You can. You don't want too much because you don't want to ruin the flavour. It's just a, a nice little complimentary to the it's dough. The, it's the secret. Rest. It's the secret ingredient. ingredient. It's a secret ingredient. That's what it is. <laughs> so we're going to spread that on. <laughs> so it's just, and also you want to go all the way out to the edges, just like that. Right, so there's our Beechworth Bakery apricot jam made by Jim Jam. Now what do we want to do? The custard. The next secret ingredient, the custard. Right. This is, yes. Now, we're lucky I've got piping bags that are already made into a piping bag. But at home, if you just Google search how to make a piping bag at home, it is the most easiest thing to follow. You just need a bit of uh, um, baking powder, baking powder, baking paper and also then just um, a knife and you just want to cut it into a bit of a triangle and then you'll have your mm -hmm. own piping bag that looks like that. Can there you, you go. Yes, just give me a minute. I'll just fill Taylor's piping bag up as well. Oh, we're getting so close to eating the beasting. Finlay only just discovered beastings about six months ago and what do you think of beastings? Blessed. Blessed. Best. The best. There you go, you can pipe yours. Can you there you go, right on, let's pipe a couple of these things. Let's wind it up at the top there. How do right, I ready? Do Squeeze, push, push, harder. Yeah. Right on. Over here. <laughs> oh no, not an arm in the dough. I said the custard. Oh, oh. No. So as you can see, the recipe makes about four. And geez, we've, we've done that just to perfection. How are you going? You need a bit more custard? Yes. There you go. So now put your tops can I, on. Can I get the 
the custard out of that? Oh god, you do need to. Now, Finlay wants, oh, Finlay, she wants one without almonds. There's a couple there. Yeah, not quite enough. What are you having, an almond one or unarmoured? Unarmoured. Almond, there's an almond one for you there. Now, unarmoured. Yeah, here, here's the last step before you get to eat. Stop it. eating it, boy. Jeez, now. Nice. Yep, yeah, that's all. Keep going. Keep going over here. Over here. <laughs> hey, I'm not doing it. Oh, oh, no. What a mess. Right, now what do you do is eat it. Go, eat it. Go. Go. <laughs>